Remember when we made this from a standard office file folder? When we did, we had some scrap and y'all, I have an awesome scrap project for you. We'll be able to use this entire piece. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for choosing to be here today. Thank you so much for supporting my channel in so many positive ways. I really appreciate it. In a previous video, we made this beautiful trifold card folio from a standard old office file folder and we did some cutting and when we cut we had this piece left over well y'all I hope you didn't throw it away because here's what I'm going to do with mine and if you can't see this I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute but I'm going to take this and we are going to turn it into a nice little desktop calendar complete with sticky notes and a pen and on the back here we have a place where you can tuck sheets of paper if you want. So easy. So what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and flip to my overhead camera so that I can give you a closer look at this because y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right y'all so when we made this together it created a scrap piece and we're going to use that scrap piece to create these really sweet desktop calendar and post-it note holders. So you can see how it looks when it's flat. This is everything that's on it. So we have our post-it note. We have a band across the back under which we can place um, pieces of blank paper. This is like a bottomless pocket. So you're able to take your papers and you can stuff some in the back. And that way you can pull a slip of paper when you need it. Then I have these little tearaway calendars here at the front. These are from the Dollar Tree, but you can probably go online and find some miniatures that you can print and then add some adhesive across the top and place them down. I added some stickers as a decorative element and then I added two pen loops and I will show you how to make the pen loops. But basically we just bring it up and it sits on the desktop like this. This is how it looks from the side. Y'all, it's easy peasy. These are super, super adorable. I think that you will enjoy making these and it is a great way to use up those scrap pieces of file folder that you're going to have once you start making those trifold file folder cards. So I am going to show you just how easy this is. Let's just take these and flatten them out and set them over there. So what I have to start, I have a piece of scrap and we'll be cutting this scrap down. It is 12 inches long, probably about six inches wide. We will make an adjustment to that. Then I have a piece of chipboard. We'll also cut this down and make an adjustment to it. And then I have that scrap piece and this scrap piece at the widest point measures about five and a quarter by 11 and a half approximately. So super, super easy. We're going to start with this piece. So we're going to place it into your scoreboard, whatever you're using to score. And we're going to place it in with the widest end being the very first score. So we're going to go ahead and score at three and five eighths. Then we score at seven and three eighths. And then we score at 10 and 7 eighths. While we have this piece, we know it's approximately five and a quarter. So I am going to go ahead and just trim this down by one quarter of an inch and we're going to trim it to five inches. And we'll use this as the back band to make that holder for those slips of paper. Then we're going to take this piece, bring it back in, and we're going to measure the size for all four sections. So all I have to do is place it in, and I can see that this is three and five eighths. So I'll take this piece, 
and I'm going to reduce it by one quarter of an inch. So I'll be cutting it down to three and three eighths. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to measure how wide this is. So I moved that score over to line it up here. And this is telling me that it's three and a quarter. So now I'll take my decorative piece and we will cut it down to three and one half. Then we'll take the last widest piece, line up that score mark right there. It's three and a half. So we're going to take this piece and reduce it by a quarter and cut it down to three and a quarter. And then now we have this piece. So I'm going to put this in and I can see that this is about seven eighths of an inch. So I am just going to cut this down to three quarters of an inch because I'm not going to reduce that last piece by a quarter. Hopefully that makes sense because I really wanted to try to cover as much of this small piece here as possible. So I just reduced it a little bit but for each one of these, when you measure how wide each one of the sections is, go ahead and reduce it by one quarter. So now to do your folds, you just fold this little piece up, then you take this piece and your accordion fold back, and then you take this piece and you fold like this. And that way, it's going to sit down like that. So now we can take all of our pieces and just place them down. I am going to place mine down with tape. You can do this with glue if you want, but I am just going to place some tape. And I'll be placing my piece right there. But before I do, I want to go ahead and I am just going to round this a little bit. It won't be perfect, but it'll be close enough. So we're just going to take this piece and we're going to put it right there. Then I'll take my middle piece and we'll add our tape. <clears throat> and we'll take this piece. And we're going to place it down right there. Then we'll add some tape to this piece and guys I will not be recommending this tape runner to anyone because to say my experience with it has been crappy would be an understatement I have to use so much tape just to get proper coverage because I don't know if you can see it or not but the guides that they put on here for the tape to feed under aren't even wide enough to allow the tape to guide underneath it really is just a poorly made tape runner. So I am going to place this down. Then I'm going to use my finger blade to just go in and remove my excess. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut out a piece that matches the center here. So I cut this piece at five by three and a half. So first I'm going to swap out my blade to an older blade that I can use to cut chipboard with or even scratch the surface of chipboard. I won't cut all the way through, but I do like to grab and save my old blades so that I can use those when I want to cut chipboard and not ruin a new blade. So I am going to just go back and cut out this piece and then I'll cut through this. Now if you want to add some decorative paper to the back of yours you can to cover it. I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and place it down 
with the raw chipboard because it'll be underneath and basically we are making a scrap project so I am just going to keep it pretty basic and I'll flip this over and we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it right here in the middle because this helps to hold everything nice and firm the way that I want it I'm going to go ahead and place down this little strip that I cut and we're going to put it down like that and then I'll trim away that excess and so now I'm just going to take this little band here add some glue there and some glue there place the band down and basically what it is is an open-ended pocket that will allow me to place papers inside the pocket so that if I want them to slide through, they can. I'm going to open my calendar and go ahead and just remove it. I'll save this and use it on another project. I will add my glue to the back. And then we'll take this piece and I think I'll put it right there. Go ahead and get it stuck. Peel away January because January is no more. And then I'm going to take a three by three sticky, add some glue, going to place that right there, getting that nice and stuck. Then I'll bring in my sticker sheet because I want to place a sticker right here. And I think I'm going to take the one that says home is where your honey is. And I'm going to place that right there. Then I'll take a word sticker that says honey jar. And we're going to use this to make a pin loop. So I am just going to trim away here and trim away here. And I'll show you how easy it is to make a pin loop for this project or any project that you might need a pin loop for. So I have my pin. We're going to take this piece and we place it around the pin like this. And then we're just going to put it down like that. So I'm squeezing it in to get that pin shape and I am going to add my glue. Let's go ahead and put that down. Straighten it out just a little bit. Now I'm going to take my little piercer here and I am going to pierce a hole because I want to put in a brad that really helps um, with any movement that I might experience once I put the pin in. So we're going to go ahead and just open that brad. So now I'll take my pin and I'll put it back in and I'm going to add some glue on this side but I want to make sure that I'm squeezing in so that it's nice and tight because I don't want that pin going anywhere. So I am going to take my glue, put it on, then I'll put my pin back in like that. Then I'll take my piercer and we're going to pierce another hole. And I'll take my second brad and put it through the hole. Open that brad. And now you can see I have a nice little loop there. We can take our pin, 
put it in and we have a nice snug fitting pin. I'll just turn it this way. And so there we have it, y'all. I'll just lay it out flat so that you can see it. And then we can stand it up. And so there we have it, y'all. We took some scrap file folder, some scrap decorative paper, and then we added to that a little Dollar Tree calendar and some three by three sticky notes and a pen. And now we have a sweet little desktop set. So I hope that you've enjoyed this fun, fantastic way to use your scraps. If you have enjoyed this video, and I really hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.